And so I focus my reading onto the science of goal setting and positive thinking. In fact, for a whole year, I only read books about positive thinking and goal setting. I spoke to all the experts around the world. I thought about it endlessly. And then driving my car late one night through London, thinking about how important it is to use both sides of our brain, the left brain that thinks in words and the right brain that thinks in pictures, and as I was considering all of this, I had this image flash into my mind. And this is a goal map. And I saw the whole structure of the goal map complete. I didn't understand the detail immediately, but I did understand instantly that this was an answer to my question about the best way to set goals. And I understood that we need to use a combination of words for the left brain, and pictures for the right brain when we are setting goals because only by activating both sides of our brain do we send a powerful command to our subconscious mind which works as our own little autopilot and moves us towards the achievement of our goal. The goal map is created by going through seven steps. The first step is dream. Use your right brain imagination Look forward into your life and imagine what it is that you desire to achieve. The second step is to use your left brain, which is good at logic, and prioritize your goals. You may want them all, but there will be one that by achieving that one goal will really help you to achieve some of the others. Then step three, start to create your goal map using the paper templates or the online program, map out your goals with words and pictures so that you're activating both sides of your brain. Then in step four, identify your motivating reasons. These are the emotional reasons of why you want to achieve your goal, your purpose for achieving your goal. In step five, when? It's now important you give a date for when you want to achieve your goal. Otherwise, it's not really a goal. It's just a wish that you will get round to maybe one day. But when you give a date, you start to make it then specific and more measurable, and that helps you to achieve it. On step six, you identify the motivating actions that will help you move along a path towards the achievement of the goal, the things you'll need to do to achieve your goal. And then in step seven, who? Whose help would you like in achieving your goal? Is it just you or are there key other individuals that are going to be involved and help you along the journey? If you think about these seven steps, they are the seven crucial aspects of any form of conscious achievement. Whatever you want to achieve, it's important you ask yourself, well, what is it and what's the priority and what does it look like and why and when and how and who? Goal mapping guides you through asking these seven questions and it captures your answers in the form of a goal map using words and pictures to activate both sides of your brain.